Phuket. Thailand's largest island, this tropical getaway is famous for its palm-lined beaches, colourful old town and stunning natural landscapes. In this video, I'm going to take you through some of the top things to do in Phuket. Let's start with the Big Buddha. So after a very steep climb, I've just arrived at the Big Buddha, which has to be one of the most famous sites in Phuket. It was built in 2004, and it's 45 meters tall, so it actually means you can see it from pretty much all over the island, really. The other reason that coming up to the Big Buddha is so popular is that it's definitely one of the best viewpoints on the island. You get 360 degree views here. You can see Takata, you can see the water on all sides. You can see over to Patong. And it's a pretty nice place to come for sunset as well, actually. There's a main viewpoint just at the bottom of the steps, which is so lovely. It looks out over the marina. So there's hundreds of tiny little boats dotted around. It looks really lovely. No trip to Phuket is complete without taking a boat to explore the incredible coastline and surrounding islands. My friends and I hired a catamaran for the day to visit Koh Racha Yai, a small island surrounded by turquoise waters making for great snorkelling. Phuket's Elephant Sanctuary is Phuket's first ethical sanctuary. Over 30 acres, the 15 elephants can roam freely as tourists can only observe the animals from a treetop walkway. So this canopy walkway is 750 metres long and it's Thailand's longest canopy walkway. And it's got amazing views actually. You can just see the vast space of the sanctuary. And actually, as tourism's just opening up again, there's nobody else here. We've got the place to ourselves, just us and the elephants. This part is so lovely. It's a natural pool from the water, from the waterfall coming out of the national park. And it looks like the elephants enjoy it too. There's a couple near the bathing pool behind me, as you can see. And I just don't understand why anyone would want to go to somewhere where you ride elephants. Wouldn't you just rather see them happy, roaming around and doing what they want to do like this? So obviously we want to get involved making the elephants rice balls. So this is steamed rice or boiled rice? Steamed rice. Steamed rice, vegetables, lots of carrots in there. It actually looks really tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can try. One for me, one for the elephant. Yeah, elephants. one for me, one for the elephant. <laughs> Next is one of Phuket's top bars, Baba Nest at Cape Panwa. It is 5pm, just in time for sunset, and I have come to Baba Nest at Cape Panwa, which is in the southernmost part of Phuket. Now Baba Nest is one of the top bars in the whole of Phuket, if not in the whole world, and it's actually been voted in the top five by both CNN and Condé Nast Traveller. To get from reception up to Baba Nest itself, you've got to take a tuk-tuk, before a lift ride to the rooftop.
the bar has amazing views over the Andaman and the surrounding beaches. As well as a selection of cocktails and delicious food, one of the main reasons to come to Baba Nest is to watch a spectacular sunset. A Thai cooking class is a must-do when visiting Phuket. Today we have come to Old Phuket Farm and there's a few reasons that you might want to visit here. First of all, they hold some really popular cooking classes and of course, if you're a foodie, then doing a Thai cooking class is one of the top things you can do when you come to Phuket. And secondly, this is actually a functioning farm. So you can come here, you can learn about the traditional way of life, you can enjoy the ambience and the atmosphere. It's ever so pretty. There's water buffalo just behind me. There's lots of fruit trees. They grow durian here, which if you haven't tried is definitely an experience. And we've got the whole morning here, a cooking class followed by the eating segment, which I'm very much looking forward to. So I just made my first dish, which was a chicken penang. They had already made the curry penang, so we were cheating a little bit. But it's absolutely delicious. Nice and spicy. It's still very fresh with coconut milk. We cooked five different and delicious dishes before enjoying our food by the water. One of the top things to do in Phuket is definitely coming to explore Phuket Old Town. It's absolutely beautiful really colourful and it's got a mixture of influences from Malaysia, Portuguese influences, Chinese, which means that the architecture is just lovely. All the facades of these buildings are so nice. A few of them are closed at the moment as you can see but normally when it's hustling and bustling there's a lot going on. So there's loads of amazing street art around Phuket Old Town and this area in particular there's some really great pieces. This one behind me is by a guy called Alex Face who's known for his designs with the three eyes just like this one. And it actually really adds to the place I think, adds to the colour of it all. So for the past couple of hundred years tin was big business and therefore big money and a lot of these beautiful, colourful mansions will have been built with this tin money. And they've been very well maintained actually, which definitely adds to the charm of the place. you can't visit Phuket without spending time at its many beaches. I visited quite a few of the beaches and explored the surrounding areas and seafood markets. So I finally properly made it onto Rawai Beach and it's absolutely gorgeous. There's virtually no one on it at the moment and it's lined with all these fishing boats, all multicoloured, very pretty. There's a pink one over here that looks like it belongs to Elvis or something. So this is Rawai Pier, which at the moment is completely surrounded by water and it's so pretty. The water is just blue, blue, blue. It's all the fishing boats along there and actually the main street looks like it's slightly behind me. So I'm going to walk along the pier and then go into town and see what's going on. So just past the pier is Rawai Seafood Market. I love markets so much. This is great. Right next to the sea, so much to choose from. Loads of crab, lobster. There's a big Phuket lobster festival on at the moment. Thank you. 
and there's a lot of seafood restaurants actually in Rawa as well. So I'd imagine that all of the traders sell to the restaurants as well. Phuket is a haven for foodies and the many international influences mean that the cuisine here is diverse and delicious. On any Phuket trip, dedicate some time to trying the food from the street food and market snacks to fine dining restaurants and seafood. Last but not least on my list is a visit to Bangrong village. This sustainable tourism initiative allows tourists the chance to learn about a traditional way of life on Phuket that includes batik and visiting the rubber and pineapple plantations. So traditionally in Phuket, one of the biggest industries is the rubber industry. They explained to me that these rubber trees here, they take about seven years to be mature enough to harvest. So the community have actually decided to also start growing and selling pineapples. So this here, you can see it's half pineapple plantation and half rubber plantation. On the other side of me are the more mature rubber trees, which are about 10 years old. So the community here collect coconuts and sell the coconuts to different villages and the ladies here have made something that smells absolutely incredible. So this is sticky rice cooked with coconut, young coconut and wrapped in the coconut leaves and you can see how the coconut milk there has thickened and turned into almost like a sweet syrup. I wish you guys could smell it, it smells amazing. Phuket is an incredible destination for all kinds of traveller. I hope you've enjoyed my suggestions for your next visit. Don't forget to subscribe.